Girl, you that bright. Right. You can meet my moms if you act right. I ain't your first, maybe I could be your last, right? Right. So your perfect imperfections is what make you fly. I know you ain't got it all, lady, neither do I. It's cause we human, and that's what being human's about. Them girls are chasing me with figures, they ain't figured it out. That it's a love thing. Girl, you like the black Mona Lisa. Lay your apple bum, are you the daughter to Bonita? Hello, how you doing, girl? It's really nice to meet you. You the perfect song, I'm just trying to be the feature Plus you look good, and you cook good So I'm trying to steal your heart like a crook would I ain't trying to sound thirsty All I need you to do is pour me a little you You're my sugar, you're my water You're my cool, hey, you're my hey, hey, You're my sugar, you're my water You're my cool, hey, you're my cool, hey, You're my sugar, you're my water You're my cool, hey, you're my cool hey, Okay. Love story and its journey, I guess. Um, so the first question will be how we met. We were born into each other's lives <laughs> by fate and destiny. That sounds so cheesy. <laughs> but basically, um, we've known each other our whole lives when we were babies. Um, his parents are. I guess really really good friends of my tia and tío. So Manzanillo Colima, that's where his parents and my tíos met, and um, they came to the U.S. and found each other again. And basically, because they knew each other, they kind of stayed with each other and stuck together. Yeah, and <laughs> we just grew up together, and yeah, I think I saw him. We saw each other when we were really little. Like from babies and car seats to when did you guys move? No way. Mm -hmm. I was like five. My Theo's live in Santa Ana. His parents used to live in Santa Ana too, and then they moved to Ontario. Yes. When he was five, into this house. As children, like always, obviously we saw each other a lot, and like my uncles had a lot of parties like almost every weekend. You know, Mexican parents. And we were kids, and we were just kids, and we would play with each other, and it was more like, uh, cooties, and I was the only girl amongst a lot of boys. You guys moved, and then you guys would go around, come around, like, every now and then. It's kind of the same thing. And they stopped coming for a lot of years. It went by, right? Like, yeah. I don't know, like, five years went by. Yeah, and was, no, we were 12. We were like in 8th grade last time I saw you. You were in 7th grade, I think. Oh, yeah. And then He hit me up on Facebook when we were like, what? Probably 15 or 16. When we were 14. I was 14. I was 15. I was 14 when he hit me up on Facebook. And then we would talk on Facebook. And it wouldn't even last on Facebook. We would be like, hi, how's it going? And then he would give me his number right away. And... We would text and then it was like that kind of like I don't know if you want to call it puppy love or like what it was that thing you had for that someone where you would stay up talking on the phone to like three o'clock in the morning <laughs> and we had that going for like I think two weeks but then we never really did anything about it because the realization of us being together was kind of more like not gonna happen since he lived in Ontario and I lived in Santa Ana and we didn't have any cars and we were little kids so it was kind of like we never pushed it we never really went forward with that and then what i found out that i never noticed i guess until we got together was like i realized that he checked up on me every single year up until the time that we got together <laughs> every single year he would always check up on me and we would talk and then like it would die out yeah just because we couldn't see each other we actually ended up coming to my grandma's birthday party, which was September 2015. September 2015. And we sat down next to each other and we started talking to each other. We didn't stop talking that whole night. So yeah, that's what started it all. 
we reunited at my grandma's birthday party and once we reunited we never stopped talking what is that like 20 or i 21? was 20. i think you were 21 already oh, nine years after the last time we saw each other physically saw each other wait what it was like 10. nine oh nine like nine years yeah so yeah yeah, one thing led to the other. Yeah, our relationship went, it went, it processed really quick, but I think it was just because we were so, like, comfortable with each other, because it wasn't like we, Forced it almost it. felt like we had already done this, we were kind of just picking off from where we left off, if that makes sense. Um, when did we know when we were in love? Well, <laughs> kind of weird. It's kind of like a. Um, it wasn't more like a win. It was just like we knew, like we kind of just carried on with the relationship, and we just knew. And um, who said I love you first? I don't remember. Mm. You might have been on. Get okay, closer. You're getting out of the shop. You might have been on the set first. No, I don't think Pizza. so. Yeah. I don't know exactly who said it first or how he said it. We all, I think we were, I think it was in person, but I think it was like either I said it first or he said it first and we just said it back. Like it was kind of like we felt the same way. And that's how, how it went throughout the whole relationship. It was like, it would just flow. It would just go. So when you know, you know. Yeah. How did you propose to me? Um, oh yeah. That was a really good day. So, and I came up with this master plan. <laughs> well, not really, but it was more of a, I got the ring and I knew I was gonna propose. I didn't know exactly how I was gonna do it. So I knew I was going to take her to Knott's on the beach, but she had no idea what was going on, of course. So uh, I was deciding if I should propose to her at Knott's, because that's where we went first. So when we got to Knott's, I was throwing out little hints here and there. Told her if she goes on the accelerator that I would propose. Or skydive, whatever one she would rather do. So she said yes to go on the accelerator, which I didn't think she was. Yeah. She's terrified of her roller coaster. I had no idea what was going on, and it was so freaking weird because I know every little thing he does, and I didn't know how he got away with like getting the ring and then asking my mom, and then like he even he did it like the legit way. He asked both of my parents. For my hand in marriage like he talked to both of my parents and i had no idea my mom hit it so good which is so weird for her to do <laughs> and she gave me no hints or anything besides i think she had asked me like that's what you're gonna wear and i was like yeah why she's like no you just just asking and i was like okay or like this my sweater i think it was my sweater because i was wearing like a it was like a kind of it was like a sundress and I wasn't planning to go on rides like that. I was just planning to, cause sometimes we wouldn't even go on rides. We would just go to Walk chill. Away. And I remember my sweater, I had it on right before I left her house. And she was like, you're gonna take that sweater? And I was like, yeah. She's like, I have nicer sweaters in my closet if you want one to go with your dress. And I'm like, no, it's cool. I'm fine with this one. <laughs> and I thought that was weird, but that was the only thing that was suspicious about her. And then with him, it was like, he was dropping hints in there, but he would always joke around, like, before he actually proposed to me, we would always talk about, oh yeah, whenever you're going to propose to me, or, oh yeah, I'm going to propose to you this way, or da 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 or like, what if I propose to you now, and we'd be just chilling in the house, or something, but he never, like, it was like more of a joke, so it wasn't like anything new that he was bringing up proposal or anything, or any yeah. of that, and then Accelerator... I kind of, I've always been scared of that roller coaster. That was the first and only time I've ever been on it. And 
I don't know why that day I was just kind of like, screw it, I'm gonna go on it. And that so happened to be the day that you proposed to me. And then when we got to the beach, I was kind of like, oh shit, we're at the beach. <laughs> like, it kind of was like, okay. Um, I think I realized when we got off the freeway, right? Yeah, I told, I told you we were gonna go hiking, and you're like, what do you mean hiking? I know, he was like, we're gonna go hiking. I was like, I'm wearing a dress and sandals. <laughs> like, what are you talking about? Yeah. Um, but I was like, I guess you could walk around somewhere. You guys are gonna see the video where I proposed too, so. Yeah, and, and it was crazy because that, that day um, we were at the beach and he was recording me and being all cutesy. And um, there was a guy that was a photographer there and he was like, I'm going to go ask that guy to take us pictures. He was there taking pictures of the scenery. Yeah. And, and stuff. And I just thought to myself, like, this is the perfect chance. Like, there's a photographer there. And I was taking a photo shoot, doing a photo shoot with her, doing a video. Mm -hmm. And I was like, you know what? I'm gonna have him take pictures of us. Already thinking, so I walked over there and talked to the guy and whispered to him if he could take pictures of us. And I kind of threw it out there that I was gonna propose. So he freaked out and he's like, "Oh, really? Really? Wait, right now?" <laughs> and I said, "Yeah, right now." And he's like, "Okay, okay, okay. Just give me the cue, man. Give me the cue. I got you." So then. Yeah, super cool guy. Just happened to work out. Yeah. And that's what I was expecting at Knott's Berry, Knott's Berry Farm, but nothing like that happened. So I was going to the beach, the guy showing up randomly just seemed to be off on the place. So I was like, this yeah. is better time than ever. <laughs> hmm? Why am I recording? It's so pretty. El color de tus ojos despertó mi interés y solo tengo ganas de verte otra vez. Dime que no está prohibido, quizás me animo y te pido verte el sábado a las diez. El color de tus ojos. Te robó mi atención Te vas metiendo dentro de mi corazón Perfecto en cualquier sentido Con pantalón no vestido Robas mi respiración ¿Qué más quisiera que fuera? Did you say yes? <laughs> biggest supporters there that made it beyond Possible. beyond what we even were gonna do we were honestly we, we were gonna hire someone to just marry us and take professional pictures with us for two hours and then call it quit call it go home and call it a day go to brunch and then go home and that's it <laughs> and um we had told them like our plan and they were like what do you mean no we can't do that like you can't just do that and I guess they knew a minister which worked out and he ended up marrying us and then they also knew yeah. photographers that ended up taking our pictures they took care of the whole situation and then they way also, better than what we could have done yeah and they also gave us a two day um, honeymoon a oh, three day honeymoon in Las Vegas which What's we weren't even planning to have a honeymoon and we obviously went with them but yeah right. like our honeymoon was our honeymoon was great too guys it was it was freaking amazing it was so much fun and we did so much in those three days that it honestly felt like more than three days but it was we had such a great time so overall overall our wedding and our like honeymoon were beyond what we ever thought was gonna happen and everything went so smoothly and it was a perfect day when we woke up and we were worried about that day too because it was chilly the day before and we woke up and the sun was like out and bright and it was like a really good day 
and our honeymoon re went really good too and yeah it was amazing <laughs> yes it was it was perfect we're going to celebrate the love of the beast ganas de mirarte en este momento Recordarte que eres tú la que me roba el sueño Fuiste eres y serás con la que quiero siempre amanecer Con la que quiero siempre despertar Tú eres lo que más quiero I guess, or artisticness. Really? My artisticness? Well, she's really good with Art. arts and crafts and stuff like that, and pays really good attention to detail. My so motivation. that really helps a lot with even just, even everyday things like the way she cleans and the way she keeps everything organized. And yeah, she has somewhat OCD so it's it's a good thing and she's just kind of like perfectionist with her with everything that she does so and me I'm kind of opposite so I kind of need that yeah I was a mess and I mean she's kind of fixing it little by little so I think that's one of the out. things in our relationship that like makes us work the fact that like whatever he likes on I have and then whatever I like on he has so we kind of just balance each other out in that sense. 
Yeah, least favorite quality. <clears throat> My attitude. Is um. <laughs> yeah, that attitude. My attitude. Pretty much. I'm a brat. I'm a hell of a brat. Yeah. She's not a morning person. I'm not a morning person. I don't. She's just when she's mad, she's mad. Yeah. She could much. be mad at one thing and then she's just mad at everything, so. But I have a lot of patience. So it's not like I get, it's not like I'm easily tempered, but like once Sometimes. I get to my limit, I'm just like, ugh. With everybody. Yeah. And <laughs> hey, no one's stopping him. Unless he feeds me or something. And even then it's a 50-50. <laughs> my favorite quality about him would be I guess his sense of like, I don't know, his like, how do I say this? He has a really mature mind. Like, I'm not, like, I'm bien destraída. Like, my mind is just kind of everywhere. And he kind of knocks me back into earth. Like, he knocks me down. Like, when I'm like, my mind is like, blah, 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 blah. Like, he has a sense of maturity to just be like, okay, calm down. You got this, 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 and this. Like, he knows how to, like, handle me I guess with my anxiety which is like one of the best qualities he has and then to add on top of that because I deal with my anxiety every day so he helps me cope with it a lot like he's my go-to he's literally my best friend like he helps me go through that and he does it in such a natural way that it doesn't even seem like he's putting an effort into it he just does it and then your sense of humor because even though your sense of humor is pretty stupid sometimes like I love that he makes me laugh every single freaking day because even though I'm having a bad day he can get home and just say the stupidest things and it just makes my day like I'm just like fine because I get to like relax or I just laugh it off like my shitty day I just laugh it off because he gets home and just fixes that and then my least favorite thing is Oh man, be messy and always forgetting things because then like when he's stressed out like he gets everyone stressed out because he has such a big personality that he'll like He knows how to not like if he's in a bad mood everyone's in a bad mood like he just like brings that off on everyone And I guess that goes with your attitude too like he does have an attitude whether he wants to say he does or not It's just a lot less than mine, but when he gets it It's bad. <laughs> but I mean, we overcome it, obviously. We know how to work with each other. We know how to deal with each other. And it comes natural for us, so it's not really a struggle or anything we're, like, mad about. Yeah. Um, what our future holds. Right now, we're focused on venturing out on our own, trying to get our own place, um, so we can, I don't know, just be a family, like, separately, you know? And then, yeah, we want, um, we want one last kid, because we want to try for the girl. We are not planning it as of... Now we are just kind of going with the flow and seeing when it happens. God will give us the last baby, hopefully a baby girl, whenever he decides it is time. And we're going to go by that and that's what it is. Yeah, Anakin's still very much of a baby, so it's kind of like hard to picture us having the third one right now at this second because he's still a baby. <laughs> But we do want another one. And I think we'll be done with the third because we, yeah. we don't want a bigger family than that. I think three kids is enough. Yeah. So, yeah, that's pretty much it. My knees hurt from being on my knees. So. I know, I'm sorry. <laughs> well, yeah, guys, now I guess you guys know a little bit of my. Uh, I have to say bye. No, I said bye. If you have any more questions or anything else that you guys would like to know about us, 
go ahead and leave a comment and we will put answer in a different video um but yeah that's a little backstory of our life our our love life and to this and channel welcome to the jedi family thank you for watching peace at least say bye 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 guys he's still very shy around the camera yeah. She can say in her voice, in her way, that she love me With her eyes, with her smile, with her belt, with her hands, with her money I am the thesis of her prayers Her nieces and her nephews are just pieces of the layers Only one she love as much as me is Jesus Christ and Taylor I got a feature song singing for my grandma You sing it too, but your grandma ain't my grandma Mine's is handmade, pan fried, sun dried, south side, and beat the devil by a landslide, praying with a hands tied, president of my fan club, Santa, something told me I should bring my money. Gotta to move it slowly, take it in my body like, like it's holy. I've been waiting for you for the whole week. I've been praying for you on my Sunday. Can't you gotta move slowly. Don't you sugarcoat, I say it all if you want Now could you tell me like it is, pretty little fears, music to my ears I'm loving your light, vulnerable, letting your guard down, it's honorable Especially when the past ain't been that, friendly to you but there's magic in that you the flower that I gotta protect To keep alive in the wintertime Hey, don't you die yet You've been way more than a friend of mine We more like fam I raised you, you raised me Let's turn this whole life round You can confide in me I can take the weight up off your shoulder blades And try to store the pain inside of me Hey, why the world do you like that? Like they don't know you God sent But me, I view you like that I'm sneaking glances Thanking God that he drew you like that Beautiful black child Come and shed your black cloud For your vibe and your smile I don't mind a little rain I'm your dog, ears perk up at the sign of your name Counting your man Wow, fire can handle your flame, download your shame Wow, how I can drown in your fragrance You that red pill that a nigga found in the matrix Before I had you, this shit was fantasy You plan to see to grow some roots A branch and leaves becomes a tree of life Until our nights are filled with peace from stress and strife And that's the blessing that I get from wife and you Cause you ain't trusting me with the key to your heart Beating you small